Hello Libra and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. I am here to do a full card spread for the month of July 2018. Uh, this will be for all Libra Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Oh gosh, uh, I try to do your guys' a couple times. I don't know what it is. I've had um, only a, 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 a challenging kind of energy uh, in, in terms of Gemini, it was Libra, and uh, also Leo. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was strong. Um, you know, it was crazy. So um, this, uh, again, is going to be uh, for Libra. This is my third time. Uh, Leo was the fourth time, if you can imagine that, guys. It was crazy. I can't even imagine. I think, oh, and Gemini was the third time. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you, you, guys, it's almost as if, like, um, the energies weren't working with me. So that's why I'm doing uh, uh, Leo today, and I'm doing, I am um, doing. I did Leo already, and you're the last one that I'm actually working with right now. It was crazy. So I wanted to let those energies go through, and I had to meditate, and I had to actually... Um, you know, clean out the energy, shuffle the cards, and start in that, you know, this particular new day. So I'm very excited to see what's going to be in store for you. Uh, again, this will be for all Libra uh, sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, if you don't know what your sun and moon, you know, moon and rising signs are, go ahead and check the description box. You can plug in your birth date information that will give you that uh, in the link that's posted in there. Um, and, and of course, is that if you're a Leo sun and your moon and rising is different, please be sure to check those other videos out, guys. It's going to give you a better message all the way through. I, I could I can't do it any other way. I've got to look at those. It just I know it helps me. Um, I know that I do that for my own videos. I actually look at my own videos uh, once I'm done recording, and then I'll look at my uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs there. So it's super helpful. So what do we have in store for Libra? Um, thank you for all your likes and subscri subscribes, guys. Keep um, keep them coming, and, and and definitely post your messages. I love hearing from you. And uh, if you are interested in a group, we have a closed group on Facebook uh, that. Uh, has uh, oh, oh quite a few people in, and we're super excited. So we definitely want to continue the growth and, and uh, put together some like um, souls that are also on a journey. So if you are also on a journey and want insights, you want to share your you know, your progress, uh, insights, uh, you know, maybe some of your challenges that you're facing, uh, go ahead and join us on our Facebook uh, page, The Guided Intuitive. There's a little button there that says Visit Group. It'll prompt you and then give you a couple questions. Uh, you know, fill that out, and then uh, you'll be right in and connected with some of the uh, most amazing, uh, you know, people. You know, there's there's all sorts of people with different backgrounds and healing all over the place. So we really like it. Um, so super excited to have you there if you are so inclined. Um, so what is in store for Libra? If you guys like a personal read, please go to theguidedintuitive.com. Um, so. What is in store for Libra for July 2018? What is it that Libra needs to know and be aware of? Uh, let's go ahead and get started. And let's cut the deck. What needs to come out for Libra in July 2018? Let's do this. Okay, let's cut the cards and see what we have here. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> this is good. Okay, uh, let's see. Put this here. I'll keep that there. And we'll move this here. We both wanted to come out at the same time. All right. And then um, what we're going to do is we'll pull some clarifiers after, um, you know, uh, depending on kind of how, how far along um, that we are. But uh, we definitely will get some sort of uh, clarity going through this. So let's take a look at this. What's at the bottom of the deck? We've got a King of Pentacles. So Libra, you might be dealing uh, with a, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is kind of that Earth-type energy in terms of the Pentacle. Uh, but this is a very uh, secure man. Um, also, not only on the wealth side of things, but he's definitely he's learned his lessons and he definitely teaches others. But this is the underlying energy here. Um, so that he teaches others so that he can pass on his, his lessons learned in wealth, uh, you know, in, in obtaining this type of security. He doesn't have to struggle anymore. He's already hit that point. Uh, now, this might be you or maybe someone that's close to you at this particular point. Uh, but he's definitely kind of that fatherly type figure. He's good at what he does. He's excelled at what he does. And it's kind of like he's already there. Um, so it might be someone that you go to for advice, maybe a work situation, or if he's not a particular partner of some sort. Um, but this is uh, underlying energy that's coming into play. So what is the situation at hand for you? 
Oh boy, boom, guys, boom, right out the gate. We have got the situation at hand is an end of a cycle. Okay, complete end of a cycle. So you've gone through the angst, you've gone through, you know, some sort of loss of grief of some sort of uh, something that, that happened, whatever situation that has brought you guys here today. Um, Libra, this is basically saying, now there's a reason, you know, every single one of those had some sort of transformation going on, which is cr crazy. Um, so I think that's why that the energies were so kind of crazy, you know, and a little bit sporadic, but this is saying that you've had some sort of lost and defeat of some sort in whatever situation that again has brought you to my channel here. And, um, this is saying is that now that there's nothing else to move forward to, but then moving up and taking this, this yucky transformation and turning that into something more powerful and a lesson that has been learned. So don't worry about this. This is just the beginning here, but you are at the end of a cycle, no doubt. Um, you guys note your comments below and let me know. Um, but quite interesting, quite interesting. And I, it is something that, you know, uh, that, that you've actually just really, um, you know, it's the swords, right? So the swords have to deal with the Aquarius, Libra, or, or, or Gemini type of energy, right? So there's a challenge. There is some something within you, a big change, a physical or, or moral conflict of some sort. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. That's what this is basically saying there. Um, and so what is what it wants you to know is that, um, that, that, there is, there is a way that, you know, in terms of ending a cycle, the next opportunity that we have is about, you know, kind of going in that net next step, right? It's that next step of just getting out of this. It is, uh, um, it is focusing on more of the, the, you know, instead of, you know, yes, backstab, yes, material endings and loss, but it's, it's also, it's also talking about that, you know, you can actually move out of this. Um, there has been a difficult ending and, and, and new awareness and a positive sense of relief that that difficulty, you know, has brought to you. And with that, something new is going to evolve. So as with endings, there's also that new rebirth, right? That rejuvenation of that spirit. So while this card may seem negative at first glance, it's a card of hope. This is a card of an indication that your troubles will not be permanent. OK, it's it's the final ordeal. No more of that uh, from that that dark, you know, darkest before the dawn. Uh, that is this difficult here on this situation. Um, this is saying that it only can get better from here. OK, so just let go. Accept your current circumstances. Don't resist change, but allow it to happen. Right. Just allow that to happen. And you're going to know what that is for you. OK, um, it's definitely, um, you know, it's. It's, it is also a time that that it's a sign that the pain that hurts you or that you have endured is not gone without purpose. That positive power within you, Libra, can now be used to learn from your pain and draw the wisdom from defeat. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, what is the um, what is right now the potential challenges? And, uh, you know, or, or what is the challenge or the potential? So the challenge is that, yeah, you've lost these three cups and you're sad about that and you're looking down from that. But the potential is that there's two of cups that are behind you. And so that's what this is reminding you of. So take a look at that. Even though that you've lost that, you've gained that knowledge and now you can utilize that to move forward and be set much stronger. So you do have even two more cups after that. And the cups actually, of course, talk about emotions, right? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio type energy. This might have to deal with a relationship of some sort, whether it's work or, or just, you know, love relationship, a romance, um, some sort of connection, um, you know, that type of thing. But the, the, that's what this is actually saying. Um, so we'll move that over there as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what you need to focus on. You need to focus on being that Queen of Swords, okay? And the Queen of Swords is about that uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type, your type of energy that, you know, that, that struggle or that challenge or, or that change that needs to be made within you. Um, and you need to take that, that Queen of Swords, you know, kind of mentality there. Um, that's what this is saying. Um, and, and it wants you to really focus in on that and to cut out things that no longer serve you, okay? Things that no longer serve you so you can move forward on your particular path. And that's what the Queen of Swords does here, okay? Um, she really focuses on what, you know, works for her, what doesn't. Um, she is organized. She's a quick thinker, very perceptive and very independent, okay? And uh, I like that. 
And so what this does mean is that, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a sign that you need to be independent in your thought and in your judgment. And uh, that's what this wants to talk about. Empathy or compassion towards others may distract you um, from the task at hand. Um, so it's not a, it's, it's important, uh, yes, to think with your head. And a lot of times, um, it's a, you know, I always say think with your head and your heart. You know, that's what I, I, I tend to do and what I do in my life. Uh, with, this, with a situation, whatever the situation is at hand right now, you're going to have to decide what's best for you. She kind of focuses more within her head a little bit. Um, but this is saying that, that she likes to know the how, the what, the why, the where, the when, and the who of everything to help make sense of her environment and to better understand others. And it's not that she doesn't care about others, but she connects to other people through more of an intellectual understanding rather than emotional understanding. So it wants you to focus a little bit, um, you know, not just on everything that actually has been lost here, but focus on what you need to do, even if you have to focus a little bit more in your head to get yourself to move forward. Um, now, you're going to know what works for you, so I'm going to leave that up to you, but that's what this is saying here. Now, let's take a look at your past. So in your past position... Uh, you have the Ace of Wands. Um, so this is beautiful. Uh, and what this talks about is, is this opportunity. It's, it, it symbolizes the ability to see to both sides of a situation. So once you came out of this and you felt that, that, you know, that way, and you're look, you're focusing with your, you know, uh, your head perhaps a little bit, you know, who knows, you're going to know what's best for you in terms of making decisions. This is saying that you've now learned the ability to look at both sides of a situation. Um, you might have a shifting of an attitude or, or replacing an, an old attitude, perhaps with a new attitude. Um, so that's what that can mean. It means, you know, the, any breakthroughs, it means mental clarity. It means victory. So you may have had, um, you know, maybe by going through this, that you achieved some sort of victory in some certain way, shape or form. You guys are going to know what that represents to you. Uh, but it's, it shows that this is a situation um, that has a double edged sword, you know, right there. Um, that's what this is basically saying. Um, but you're looking at both sides of a situation, right? So, uh, and that's what this is basically saying, to look at both sides of it. Um, you have great clarity on a situation that you now can argue your case, um, you know, with the view to come out victorious. So this is in the past situation. You may have argued your case in this and you felt victorious and uh, you were really excited to pursue opportunities with, that, with your creative and mental abilities, okay? But uh, in the past... Um, you're maybe looking back at the past and now saying, okay, now I see the truth of the matter. I can see where I can find my justice. And you're standing up for your rights and also for the rights of others. So, um, and sometimes the Ace of Swords can represent, you know, a battle, you know, so that could have been uh, what you had actually been going, you know, through. Now, what are your strengths? King of Swords. So the King of Swords is your strengths. Again, your type of energy that, uh, 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 you know, that air energy your, your strength is that you can be that king of swords, okay? And that's what this is saying. So, you know, it is that, that you can use that mental power. You can use that drive and you can use that authority to get what it is that you need to get on your own and what you want, okay? So use that clear thinking. Use that authority and truth. This is interesting because it's a lot of um, intellectual, kind of a lot of swords and, and wand type stuff, you know? So that's what's actually coming out for me here. Um, wands kind of career, creativity, energy, ideas are kind of symbolic of that. And most of the wands are the struggles and the, you know, struggles and kind of the challenge and, and whether that's within you or just, you know, hap happening, you know, morally or, or uh, you know, uh, on this, you know, physically or, or, or um, you know, that type of thing. So this is interesting. But the King of Swords is is um, a kind of a, a person that's in command and it's holding that 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 upward sword in his right and his hand rests gently on his lap. And so it's just the sky is clear with a few clouds. So that is actually representing a lot of clarity that's coming into place. And that's actually your strength. And the trees in the background are motion, motionless and they reflect that stern judgment of, of the king. So you're taking charge of yourself, guys. You really, truly are. It's, it's that power of authority. And um, the king of swords asks you to remain detached and objective in any situation in order to uh, you know, kind of ascertain the truth. And seek out the facts because you will need to use your intellect to prove your point and succeed. Your education and experience are important, but so are your day-to-day -day observations and thoughts. And you can solve a problem 
by using history, rules, laws, and diplomacy. Okay, uh, be fair in your role, um, and 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 you know you have that clarity of mind. So keep that in mind. Um, now let's go ahead and move into the future, near future, and what this talks about here is the Knight of Wands. You know, so this is actually starting out. Um, you know, more on a. Uh, uh, you know, uh, on uh, with more energy, creativity uh, in kind of like this new uh, manner. So that's what this is doing. Uh, so whether that's that new adventure or that next step that you're actually moving in, you know, towards, you guys are going to know kind of what that means to you. But it's about energy. It's about passion, lust, action, and adventure, right? So that's what's happening there. So we'll see what that pertains to as we go through. But the ones usually talk about or, you know, that, that energy and passion, maybe career and a new idea that you have. What it's telling you to, uh, to really, uh, your suggested approach is to be that empress. Focus on your spirituality. Uh, focus on, on being kind of that Mother Earth type energy that this well, empress possesses. It also could be pregnancy, guys, so keep that in mind. Uh, but she, she makes, she's very fair-minded and she's just a very loving person. And she likes the beauty and the wonderful, luxurious things in life as well that she has well earned her uh, herself. So that's kind of the type of energy that you want to actually, um, you really want to uh, use that approach in anything that you do moving forward. Now, this is saying, oh, what's next here? This is saying that um, what you need to know right now is that you're going to have a decision to make. And you've got to make a decision. And you might not have all the facts. You're on ground, but there are some emotions involved. You might not have all the facts, but you can take off that blindfold and make that decision. Remember, indecision is also a decision. So whatever your particular situation, romantic, career, whatever that looks like, know that indecision is also a decision. So if you've got a, a chance to step up and make a decision, you know, definitely do so because it's your input um, is involved into that versus not having a hand in that. But you can take off this blindfold. Don't be fearful. Move forward because when you make a decision, you become more powerful, uh, whether that is in a relationship or whether that's in a career. Your hopes and fears is the hangman. So you're no longer in the hangman position because this is upside down. You've actually achieved that enlightenment. You've gone within. You know what you need to do as moving forward. Note your comments below, guys, because I'd like to actually see what that is. Um, but you actually have gained perspective in some way, shape, or form on this situation. And you have got this new enlightenment. Um, and it's actually, you know, going within as well, meditating, doing what it is that you need to do. He's out in nature doing this, but you're no longer in limbo. Your outcome is swift communication is coming through. So this is the uh, eight of wands um, and the eight of wands. Again, we're talking about more of that, uh, you know, that energy, a career ideas. There might be communication coming through that you've got an opportunity, you know, to do something. Um, you know, let's see what this is, is. How can we clarify the eight of wands? You have the opportunity to start anew. You've got a new opportunity coming your way. This means that changes are afoot. You've got that free-spirited approach. And you're excited to see what's on that other side. The sun is shining. You're feeling great about that. Uh, and it's going to take some strength for you to move through this. But you're going to use your intuitiveness because you contain that 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 wild beast here within yourself. You're not going to go, you don't want to go back to this here. You're going to actually use it with grace and with what it told you to do, that Mother Earth type energy to be fear and making your decisions. Uh, this is beautiful. And guess what you reach? You've got the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. This is spiritually and also emotionally feeling very, very, very wealthy. You've actually achieved that emotional type of of of, of just of of satisfaction of, of of something that you've done and you've done it well. I'm gonna pull some clarify, um, just some one liners that can kind of give us an idea on um, on uh, how uh, how to best stay in that type of uh, energy. And we've got spirituality is going to play a big role in this, guys. Spirituality. We also have abundance is coming your way. <laughs> this is great. There's some communication that comes through. And that just means that you, a spirituality is a key part of it, guys. You know, whatever that is for you. And abundance is coming your way. It's going to take some self-discipline, right? We talked about a lot of that sword energy coming through. It's going to take some self-discipline to come through here. Um, so you might have to meditate. You know, that spirituality card came into place in this and you reach that enlightenment. And you maybe you make a decision and enlightenment is achieved and that communication comes through. But it's going to take, um, you, you actually get abundance and you know from that self-discipline. Um, what is this decision that is into play here um, that uh, you're looking to make? 
In this situation, you're going to have to use your spiritual approach as well. The magician pops up for the two of swords in terms of what it is that you need to know. And what you need to know is you need to go within. And you need to know that you've got that cup. You've got that pinnacle. You've got that sword. You've got that save. You can actually move forward by using those elements uh, and, and connect to your higher self to make that decision. So I love this. And a decision could be walking away of something that no longer serves you, okay? And that strength in itself, guys. That strength in itself. There's no doubt about it. What advice can we give to in terms of walking away from this situation? There is a completion. Isn't that the truth, right? We got the completion of the Ten of Swords. It is a completion once you make this decision. And it's all about applying self-love. You come first, and then you're able to actually put out love elsewhere for you know to others. And it is a rebirth, guys, a rebirth that can lead that with, you know, self-discipline and then using that spirituality that you can gain the abundance that you're looking for. So I hope this resonated with you, Libra, in some way, shape or form for the month of July. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Note your comments below. I love hearing from you. And until I see you in August, namaste.